Hey everybody, welcome to another very special episode. We're playing Fishing Resort on the Nintendo Wii. I'm your host, Mark, and we're catching the top 10 fish of the game. That's the top 10 most popular fish in the game, according to you guys, the viewers, and how many views the videos are getting. And if you've been keeping up with my videos, I've already done a top five fish of the game video, and we're just going to keep going from there rather than do those five again. We're just going to continue on. And actually, uh, I caught the sixth fish already in that top five uh, little mini-series. It's a, a three-part thing that I did on the top five fish, and we actually also caught the sixth fish which was the Hynaria and so uh, we're just gonna go on from there now we only have four more fish to go to get the top ten we're here at Saphir Cave and we're gonna rent a boat here the four fish that we have left to go are the king of herrings, the goblin shark, the bothriolepis, and the pterospis. And those will round out the top ten. So we're going to start with the king of herrings, hopefully. Set our tackle real quick. Go with the titan and the infinity if you got it. Those are the best, and the quick hitter large, that's the good stuff. So we're going for the King of Herrings, which is the seventh most popular fish. And it's actually kind of tied with the Hynaria for sixth or seventh place. As of right now, anyway, who knows, maybe that'll change later they they seem to change as time goes on which ones are, are more popular just depends on how many views it's getting so so I'm all the way back here at the back of the cave or you could call it the opposite side of the cave as the entrance And you just drive around here until you see one. There's one right there. See that big ribbon looking thing in the water there? See if I can get that one to go for it. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's very dark in here. But there's one. Okay, it looks like it's going for it. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get that one right there. Oh yeah, woo son, got it, got the king of herrings, seventh most popular fish of the game, and definitely one of the most challenging fish to catch, they're very tough fighters. Whoa, I'll be lucky if I can keep this on without breaking it off. Seems like of all the fish in the game, this one breaks off a lot. And the amazing thing is that this fish actually exists in real life. But it's not called the king of herrings. It's called something else. Like I think maybe the ribbon fish or something. Or something like that. But um, Man it's a beautiful fish in real life. And it's rare. It's one of the most rare fish you could possibly see. Because... I guess they live way down deep in the ocean. I 
And see, look at how that thing is fighting. It's still taking me out past 80 feet. Let's hope it stays on. Let's hope it doesn't come off the hook or anything. Boy, these things are tricky to reel in. Whoa, stay out of the red. And I looked up a few videos of this fish online to see what the what I could find about the the fish in real life and I found one with the guy uh, from that show Monster Fish and he's he goes uh, scuba diving with one. looks like in real life they actually swim straight up and down rather than sideways at least part of the time okay we almost got it in here boy oh boy these things are hard fighters Woo, look at that beautiful the king of herrings. B rank, so that's not even as big as they get. They get bigger than that. And that's the seventh most popular fish in the game, according to you guys. All right. So let's get on the to the eighth. Or I think it actually comes in at number nine, but we're we're gonna call it eight or nine and because it also lives in here in Saphir Cave which is the goblin shark and it's usually just like back here as I remember kind of in these towards the back wall of the cave in these dark crevice areas. I'll just cast out here. Maybe we'll get one. I don't see anything out there, but that's okay. I'll give it a little while. Just give it a couple seconds here to see if anything bites hmm. I'm not feeling good about this spot I think I'm going to reel it in and try somewhere else over here I'm on I'm, I'm along the back wall of the cave and Maybe I'll try over here. I see one dark looking area. Can't quite remember right now where I was. Oh, there's one right there, right there. Back up, stop, boop. Back up. I think it's still there. Right there, folks. I hope you can see that. It's right down there underneath the bobber right now. Ooh, good. It's going for it. You, it's so dark in here. Even I can barely see it. But ooh, yeah. There it is. I think we got it. I think we got it on, folks. Ooh, son. Now, this fish is a tough fighter, too. Boy. Let's see if we can get it in without it. Popping off. Whoa, stay out of the red. Oh, jeez. I want it to break off. Got to concentrate on reeling for a minute here. And this fish exists in real life in the deep ocean 
I think. I could be wrong about that, but I, I think actually most of the fish in this game do exist in real life or something very close to it or or they did exist at one time there are some fish that are like uh, prehistoric fish in this game oh geez I hope this thing doesn't come off these things are tough fighters both of these fish It's only out at 30 feet, but it's fighting for its life. Oh boy, oh boy, don't come off. Don't come off. Okay, almost got it in now. There we go. It's the goblin shark. Nine feet long. Man, that is huge. Okay, so that is the 8th or ninth most popular fish in the game. So let's let's keep going. Let's see if we can if we can get on. We only have two more to go now. But we have to get out of here out of the cave. Only two more fish to go. To catch the top 10. I think the exit is over this way. So it's going to take me a while to drive there. But that's part of the game. Travel time. I'll go as fast as I can. Because these last two fish are in completely different places. The Bothrio Lepis and the Terraspis. And of course I have no idea if I'm pronouncing those right. That's just how I say it. Get off here. Got to get back on the cruiser to go catch those other two. And we'll pull up the map so I can see where I'm going. Okay. Where is the... Okay, I think I'll, I think I'll go this way. Because the Bothrio Lepis, I'm, I'm trying to remember where they are. <laughs> Bathrio Lepis is at the Kirikil or Kirkil River. And the Terraspis is in the jungle. So I'll just probably go for whichever one is closer. just have a feeling right now that this might be a two-part episode because um, both of these fish coming up are like some of the hardest fish in the game to catch. They're not big fish, they're tiny fish, but they are just extremely difficult to actually catch because they're so random. So I'll dock here just because this is the closest place. And I think I'll warp to the river house. Anybody just tuning in, we're trying to catch the top 10 fish of the game, and we, and we only have two left. So I think I gotta go over here. I gotta check in my fish real quick.
just so that I can change hotels. There's the King of Herrings, worth a whole lot of points. And the Goblin Shark, they're worth a fair amount of points. Let's get over to the last two fish. Got to pay my hotel debt. Now I'm going to check into a different one. I think Kirkhill is where I want to go. So we'll go straight for the Bothrio Lepis. Oh boy, that's one of the most difficult fish. I'm just telling you guys right now, this this might be a two-part episode because it's it just might take me a while to catch this next fish. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch it first cast. You never know. Of course, the day's already halfway over, but we'll go. We'll go try anyway. We'll go straight over there. Now we're after the Bothrio Lepis. Okay, that, this is the spot, I think. Let me check. Double check. Yeah, okay. This is the spot I want right here. And let me tell you, when I first was looking around for this fish, I looked all up and down this place. I tried up at the top, down at the bottom, you know, up, up at the waterfall up top and down at the bottom and by all the, the birds because a lot of times, okay, I'll select the heroic and the worker keeper and the, the rainbow regular but, you know a lot of times i found in this in this game that you'll catch good fish by birds so i went around in here that wasn't a good cast tried casting by all the birds and that's how i found it eventually that wasn't a great cast either but we'll try it So that's one little tip for you is, uh, there's one, Let's see what we got. Ooh, if you're looking for fish in this game, it's good to try casting by the birds, like there is a, is a goose. And that's how I ended up finding a lot of the fish in this game is casting by the birds. I don't know what we got here. And that's the hard part about catching this Bothrio Lepis is that there's a whole bunch of other fish in here that that bite the same thing and they fight just about as hard. So you can never really tell what you have on the hook until you get it in. Because you can also catch the couple different types of trout and I think maybe the salmon and this this looks like a catfish actually yeah and the catfish fights almost exactly the same as the Bothrio Lepis so you you just have to reel them in every time because uh, you never know if you have the catfish or the Bothrio Lepis okay so you just keep going I think it's better actually the farther you go and if you can get it like up inside the bushes that's even better but and the closer to that to that bird you can get it the better okay we got another one I, I I'm telling you guys I would just be amazed if we caught the Bothrio Lepis before I run out of space here because I think I'm I think that would just be 
so lucky. I, I don't think this is it because it's coming in too fast. No. It's the salmon, the Japanese salmon. Okay, I'll try a few more casts and, and then we might have to stop and start a new episode. Oop, that wasn't, I didn't like that cast. It's a, it's a tricky cast to make. Okay, that was a better one, closer to the bird. Go with that one. Okay, great. Got another one. I don't know what this is. Doesn't seem to be fighting very hard. Could be seaweed. Maybe some weed, I don't know. Or a minnow. You just never know, so you gotta keep reeling them in. What do we have here? A few more casts. The day is almost ending too, so that might be a good place to. All right, that was a good cast. Pretty much right on top of the bird, but past the bird. Let's see what we can. Oh yeah, I got one. But that's what we'll do. I think is if the day is about to end, we'll try to fish till the end of the day here and. And if we don't get the Bothrio Lepis, I'll start a new video. No, that's the salmon again, I think. Or no, the crucian carp. Okay, might get a few more casts in here. That was an okay cast there. Still trying to catch the Bothrio Lepis on the rainbow regular. There's one. Oh, yeah. And this is how, how you catch it. You just got to keep on casting, casting and casting up and down here. And I ended up catching it right there by the... I think I've only caught one of them before, and I caught it right there by that by that goose. So that's just where I'm trying right now. But I don't know, maybe you can catch it in other places along here. I've actually seen it swimming up on the top end of this uh, section up by the waterfall and at the top of this stream. I wonder what this is. Let's see, is it a Catfish. Yeah. Okay, You're probably tell me the day is ending. No, I get one more cast? Okay. The day's about to end, so. Sometimes I've noticed that right at the, oh, there's one. I was gonna say right at the end of the day, it seems like a lot of times the fish just stop biting. But we got one on here. As I remember, the Bothrio Lepis puts up a good fight, so, so you kind of know when you have it because it fights quite hard. But so does the catfish, so it's hard to tell. What's that? A salmon? Japanese salmon. Yep, it's getting late. I gotta head back to the hotel. It forces you to go back to the hotel. It's just part of the game mechanics. 
You gotta check in your fish every night. So, alright guys, I'm gonna make this a two-part thing probably, or who knows, three or four part, <laughs> however long it takes me to catch the next two fish. We only have two fish to go. The Bathriolepis and the Terraspis to round out the top ten fish of the game. So stick with me guys, tune in for the next episode, and we'll, we'll do just that. <laughs>